intro to the intro. You're gonna start. We're starting. Over. Oh yeah. Okay. We have a new project. We have been given a 1990 Jayco pop-up camper uh, from some very sweet people. And we could probably just go camping the way it is. It's not. Yeah. It's it's in. Good enough condition yeah but sure. you know we are just those kind of people that we just get something and we think hey we could just take this apart and customize it a little Make bit more better. and you know turn it into something a little schnazzier that's right so that's what we're about to do jason wants to start ripping things out so he said you better get the video camera out before Hurry we start up. our goals are to take away some of this cabinetry because it seems kind of like wasted space these cabinets they're just not well utilized. We'd rather have shelving with a, a little lip to keep our totes from sliding out. But you know, in our tiny house, we use totes for everything and it works wonderfully. Right. Toothbrushes. Pull them in and out. Band-aids. So we want to replicate that same idea in here. And then we can even just take them from the house, put them in, and then we don't have to worry we about packing have to pack. or unpacking so much. We've gone back and forth about if we should leave the sink and the stove in here or just make it a permanent outside fixture. All I right. think we're gonna leave it in. I think so too. Oh, there, there come the kids. I was like, what is that crazy noise? It's a child. Um, oh, you can tell this thing is a pop-up camper because yeah, the camera is shaking. like, ah. It's like an earthquake. Also, um, I'm going to make new curtains for the inside. Um, new coverings for the cushions cushions and we're going to lay down some new flooring and um, just paint everything so that's kind of our very quick overview that's right well we'll we'll let you know more details as we're doing it or when it's done that's right here we go Today Jason is building the shelf instead of cabinets, which we didn't want because a lot of wasted space back there. We just decided to do plain shelves that will um, be able to hold little totes from Ikea. That Our friend Tim installed this AC unit, which is going to be wonderful to have in this space, especially for a eight month pregnant lady who's gonna be camping here. Obviously this needs to be washed because we got all muddy, but you can see the air conditioning unit just comes out this side. So we took out the linoleum floor and underneath it, uh, if anybody's ever taken up linoleum, they know it's kind of like a card stock type stuff and it was really stuck to the floor and that was a pain. But it came up enough, I think, and then we took out all the cabinets. Also today we went and bought fabric for remaking the curtains and also covering the, um, the cushions that go at the kitchen table. The beds, the two beds on either side, we're gonna leave the way they were, they were fine, but we're gonna recover those um, yeah, four cushions right there. As an alternative to this black older plastic, which really has a plasticky smell, we are gonna just carefully cut this out and replace it. We found some glue that um, it adheres um, plastic and canvas. And so we have this. This is 10 mil plastic. And it doesn't smell like the other it stuff. It doesn't so. smell and it's clear so we can get more light in. Your this is what we're gonna use 
to it's flexible. That's the most important thing about the adhesive. That it's is a that flexible, it's flexible glue. On it. So those the zippers will stay the same, and we'll just adhere this new plastic or it cut is there, so dark. and then yeah. adhere the new plastic to this. So we'll let you know how that process goes because we've never done it before. Okay, we're back. I'm going to show you the progress. I'm just going to show you this one more um, snapshot of where they're at and then I'm going to close this video out and we will pick back up with the next video. Here is Jason's helper today. He's doing good work. So right now they are finishing up these cabinets, not cabinets, shelves that will go in this bottom space where the cabinets used to be. These shelves and all of the wood in here are going to be painted a, it's called Connecticut blue, it's kind of like a blue-gray color. We're going with a darker color because being outside with a lot of kids coming in and out, I know there's going to be mud, it's just inevitable. And so instead of going white, we're going with a darker color that will hide those little things so we won't have to clean it quite as often. Um, it won't be a continual wiping down. So. Let's see. These were um, these were custom fit um, height wise to fit the little plastic buckets that we keep things in. Um, so there'll be one for toothbrushes or you know hair fixing things or whatever. All those first aid little things that will slide in there, so we can easily bring them in and out of our house. This one over there, he is going to be notching out the top to fit it. Over right over that. What is mechanism. These are the cables for the pop-up part. Okay. There's a little crank outside and it cranks and basically pulls the top up. So this was kind of a happy accident, if you will. I measured it for this. I come up short. I forgot to run the two shelves to the wall. So instead, I'm going <laughs> to notch it out around that thing. Have more of a walkway. Yeah, I think it'll be good to have that extra walkway. Yeah. And you know, we, we can put, um, you know, like a slide or something if we want for magazines or. Right, extra. No. Extra space right there. Shelf, if we want. Okay, so that's where we're at. Once these are going in, then it's paint. It's paint. Yep, clean then paint. Well, paint I gotta sand. I want to sand this stuff because it's really slick. Right, because that will be painted as well. Is this? Okay, so that's where we're at. We will be updating you very soon. I'm going to go ahead and share this video with you so that you can watch our progress and then keep checking back because we will have another video of the next steps coming soon. Bye-bye.